So guys, this is um, the part two of this Kenwood TK60U, 1966 vintage receiver. It's a very nice old looking receiver. And today guys, I wanna show you the continuation of what I did to this receiver that I clean inside of it and it looks much better than before it looks more shiny it looks more cleaner and it's just a, a beautiful piece so today guys not only that I showed you what I did but I want to talk about the receivers, the stereos that would, you know, not cost a lot of money to have. The comparison between the high ends, for example, Morans or Sansui or Pioneer compared to Kenwood Techniques Akai and those middle class. I want to explain, guys, that not only the high ends will give you a good quality sounds, not only Marantz, not only Sansui, not only Pioneer, not only Luxman, not only Aquaface, this high end brands. It doesn't mean because they are, you know, in the middle class or they're not popular brands. They are not high ends. It doesn't mean that they are not good. They are not really up there, but they still have good components that they use it's all about the components that they use to the stereos and this kenwood has a beautiful sounds it has a beautiful bass the clarity is good it doesn't mean that they are not good it's just the brand okay so the brand that makes it more um, expensive, it's known, and it's pricey. It's the same thing with cars. You buy Mercedes, BMW, Audi, and then you buy Japan, um, Toyota, Honda, Mitsubishi. You can still go to point A. You can still go to the place that where you want to go from point A to point B. Okay. So stereos, guys, it's not, I mean, necessarily means that some of the brands are not good, even though they are just, you know, they don't look as expensive like Moran's. You know, like Moran's or Sansui. But it doesn't mean that they are not good, you know. Um, I've been collecting different types of stereos and I do have knowledge about, you know, um, stereos from Kenwood, Akai, Techniques. Um, these are brands that it's not you know really high ends but it's still you can have a good quality sounds and you don't have to pay a lot of money for this kind of stereos for some other other collectors out there for other you know um, folks out there they go for expensive ones Marantz, Sansui 
because sometimes guys it's the ego okay it's the ego that they cannot you know um, accept like okay i only have kenwood okay i need to have this expensive because my ego is eating me alive i have to have expensive you know morans or sansui aquaface luxman harman Kardon. you know this expensive and then sometimes they it's not enough they're not content they will go for macintosh okay then after that they really want to go for those audio files thousands of thousands of money for their stereo system so these are the brands that will cost you money these are egos these are contentment but kenwood it's a nice receiver and there's many more out there that will not cost you a lot a lot of money and you can still have a good system a good setup so my setup here guys if you look at it it's simple i have this akai okay kenwood okay from just average okay uh, system setup here and i have morans sansui i have morans over there another morans over there so these are stereos that i experience okay that i know that i have knowledge about you know expensive stereos and you know low price stereos okay but i know that they have good quality sounds kenwood akai techniques and whatever the other brands out there that is just in the middle okay they are not high ends like morans or sansuvis you know so people need to understand that you know you can still have a good quality sounds you don't have to pay a lot of money okay and like i said sometimes guys the pride and ego is the problem that's why people buy expensive expensive you know stereos so some people they don't like kenwood it's because they don't look expensive they don't you know um, they don't have a strong power you know to to let that speaker run and to to give that speaker a good quality um power sounds yeah so they will spend thousands of money okay the components that they use inside of this stereo gives me a beautiful sounds i played it i plugged it in my mp3 and i use you know klh speakers believe me guys this is a good receiver doesn't mean because it's 1966 it doesn't mean that you know it's really old and you know the sounds of this kenwood you know the 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 the, the build the sounds that it's hidden here in this receiver in this stereo it's there and it will be there all the time so some folks they like modern stereos they go for audiophile you know they do sounds great but it costs a lot of money they're they're, they're thousands of thousands of dollars you know 
The same thing with Macintosh, you know. Thousands and thousands of dollars. When you have audio files set up, you're going to spend thousands of dollars. So, highly recommended this Kenwood TK60. It's a good receiver. And I bought this is because it's 1966, it's Japan made, and this piece, it's not easy to find nowadays. It's rare, you don't see this out there online, you can probably buy it on eBay, but just to go out there and look for this brand in this stereo, the TK60U, you will never find this, mm, very hard to find, 1966. Older than me, way older than me. So the quality sounds of these guys, I tell you, okay? I'm gonna let you hear some of this. Renewing your passport? The thought of it is overwhelming. Introducing itseasy.com, I-T-S-E-A-S-Y.com. The easiest, safest, and least. The sounds guys still there, you know? plug this in my mp3 player it sounds amazing as you can see so this thing looks like the fisher um, tube amplifier or receiver i believe yeah the 800C. They look identical. That's what I like about this. But that Fisher, the 800C, oh boy, beautiful piece. Beautiful, beautiful. So like I said, guys, you know, um, a lot of you know, um, stereos out there from Kenwood, Techniques, Akai. Um, what else is, you know, out there that it's not high end, you know. And still, you can definitely have a good sounds, you know, a good quality stereos. And buying. You know, um, stereos, guys, you really got to know what you're doing, you know. Um, some stereos, guys, it's not like this. You know, this is like solid. It's like my Luxman, Japan made. And that is why I love Japan made because, you know, they, they use a good, you know, metal um, all around underneath. And it has weight. It's heavy. You know. These are the good vintage stereos. That you can never find. And have. You know. That easy. Um, some stereos are very light. But I like the heavy ones. Because that's the vintage. And that's the good stereos. You know. And. You know the capacitors. You know. The bigger capacitors, the better. The bigger transformer, the better. And that is the key to get, to buy, to have a good vintage stereos. But for others, they don't, they don't have knowledge about stereos. They don't know knowledge about vintage. You know, they, they laugh it up, you know, because it's, it's old and, you know, some people, they go for um, the modern ones, you know. They said, that's too old, you know. Um, the modern ones, it's better, you know. But for other people, guys, they don't know the sounds, okay. The quality sounds, the quality of vintage, the quality how they build the stereos, you know, the solidness, the toughness, the heavy, um, heavy stereo. You know, so 
people a lot of people they just go by the looks and then that's it they have no knowledge about what's you know the ingredients of this uh, mysterious you know the same thing with this akai here this akai it's way way old um but the quality sounds i mean the the, the quality of this until now it's running and it's good and you know um, it's a good turntable you know compared to the turntable today because some turntables today guys they would last for a couple of years and then after that they will break you know especially if they come to the you know those uh, countries in asia those you know um, you know what i mean so they would they would last a couple of years and then you will end up buying a new one so the quality they don't last for a long time like i said guys japan the same thing with cars it will last for years and years and years and still running you know that is a good thing about you know japan made the the lifespan you know um, the quality the sounds you know 10 years 20 years think about it guys i mean this piece right here this is 1966 and today it's 2024 and it's still running still in a good shape and still working unbelievable it's amazing yeah that is why i buy this vintage stereo up here i have this sansui still running today Marans, japan japan you know japan 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 they last for a very long time guys that's why i like about japanese made even my turntable right there it's japan made my sansui turntable 20c 2050c made in japan that's why i collect all japanese made made in japan guys because it's a good build it's a good quality it lasts for a very long time so this is the part two of my kenwood tk60 So guys, another video here, another video that I discussed. And recently, guys, I bought this headphone. Okay, has a beautiful sounds. This is KD seven two seven. Yeah, B. Made in Japan, guys. It's a good headphones. The quality the foam lasts for a long long time never breaks look at that guys it's a very nice headphone so this setup here guys it doesn't cost a lot of money you know so but it's it's good, it has a beautiful sounds, it's just beautiful vintage looks. And I love it. So guys, another video here. And you know, thanks for watching. And if you did not hit the subscribers yet, click the subscribers. And thank you for that. And I will see you again next time. For now I say, ciao, ciao. Thank you.